show to set the 1500 episode or something that she had did I think it's Monday yeah because yesterday was Sunday see my mind is all over the place a lot been going on my mind you know and um I've, I've had a lot of um you know um dealing with hormones dealing with life dealing with a lot of you know different things dealing with people coming on my page you're going to hell you're going to burn in hell you're not a woman in the lens you know so I have to try to get there and delete, delete, remove, block, delete, you know. So it's like, you know, I get it. It's listen. I know you like doing that to my beach. I know you hate me. I know you want me to know that I'm going to hell. But just do me a favor. When you get there, just let me know what it's like. Because mothers are going. But at the end of the day, when you find out where you're going, you're going to gang. But anyway, so this is the thing. Um... I was talking to a friend of mine and stuff, and I always feel like everybody who, and it's just not by, by the girls like me, I just think there's always, everybody has that one person that they were with in their life, and they always wonder if they would ever come back to them as far as being in a relationship, as far as being uh, with them and stuff. Cause for some reason, you just can't seem to shake them, and when certain songs come on, you think about that person, certain things happen, you think about that person, and the best catch of it all, you don't know damn well. This person is not good for you. You need to move on. You need to leave them alone. Because they basically, you know, didn't do it, but they were supposed to do it in the first place and stuff. But for some reason, you find yourself still thinking about them. And I want to share this with you and stuff. Because I feel as though a lot of people like myself, um, not just like myself, but like people in general, we always got that one person that we always kind of find ourselves thinking about. And we know we should be thinking about them. We can't even share the story about them a lot of times because they did it so dirty. You feel like really you think about them after what they did to you. You still think about them, and you know a lot of times people feel like you know when somebody does something devastating to them that they forget about it. I know people who had sex with someone who actually gave them a disease and they still love them. You know they didn't want to get the disease, but reality is that. You can't stop your heart from loving somebody when you really love them. And I'm talking about the ones you really love, not the ones who just, you know, um, you know, just dogged you. Well, then again, I guess some does dog you too as well. But I'm talking about the real love. I'm not talking about sexual love. I'm talking about real love and stuff. Because I always feel so what we find ourselves looking about, looking for that person and stuff. Anyway. <sighs> I'm going to talk in reference to, um, to my trans attractive men this this is message for you and of course my sister may not sign on to it but it is what it is to my trans attractive men to the tranny chasers to the ones who like the girls like us and i know some even said we're really all tranny chasers well to me it's all a mess but at the end of the day you got gay men straight chasing after trans women you got um straight women chasing after trans women you know, so the training chances thing could go all across the board. It's not just a gender. It could just be somebody just, well, bitch, I was with this one. I want to try them out. But women have different, women are much more discreet about it than, you know, the men. And for some reason, you think about training chances, you always think of men, but you never think of women. But like I said before, women are dating the trans women or two-spirit women or the girls like my mom or the dolls. This is the thing, as far as the trend, he traces men. Um, a lot of times I learn when I talk to a lot of you um, guys, you'll tell me, well, Raven, um, you know, you're very insecure about your penis size. You feel like in order to be with a girl like me, you have to have a really huge dick and stuff. Because for some reason, you all got this misconception of, well, since she got a dick, if her dick is bigger than mine, then I'm, <laughs> I'm so 
feel a certain kind of way. Now the thing is, you're dealing with us through gender as far as your penis, but you're, you're not dealing with us as far as mentally through the heart. Now the thing about it, you may feel like, well, um, I, I want to let you know, Raven, that my, you know, um, I don't have a big penis, but listen, a lot of girls don't want guys with big penises. They don't. They they say they do because in their mind they think of, you know, just something not like a little one. But we listen, listen. In fact, listen to the little ones. That's like this. Those little things hurt too, so don't sleep on it. They poke you to death, but anyway. So the big ones that you think like, well, you know, but I don't really have a big one and stuff. Now you're thinking that you want, she's going to want, um, we'll say, this would be more like the average size. You know, you're thinking of the girl, you're like, well, this is this like the average size. <laughs> And, and see, you're like, well, she's probably got a round. She can have a big one. And in your mind, see, the girls will take their size with no problem. So, hell, some girls that even take this size, and listen, some girls will even take this size. It's really not about that when they're dealing with you as far as your heart. If you're genuine as far as being in a relationship with them, they really don't care nothing about this. Uh, just my opinion now. You do it. You got size queen. And to my sisters out there, don't keep saying you want a guy with a big old dick. Because listen, you ain't had a guy with a big old dick. You think you have. But baby, let me tell you what a big dick looks like. When you get a man with a dick this size, and he's pushing it inside of you, and your fucking guts and everything, your glands, you said your glands, your tissues, your stomach muscle, everything just fucking your shit up. Then all of a sudden he pulls out and all your insides is ripped and is hanging down your leg. Mother, you ain't had a big dick. Now your mom, you say, well, I want to be, no girl, you ain't had a big dick. So stop telling these guys you want a really big one. You want something that you can enjoy, he can enjoy himself with you, you can enjoy yourself with them as far as the guy stuff. You know, as long as you can get it up at the end of the day, this, what it is, because a lot of you guys are, you know, and, you know, but, um, I've experienced it, not much, but I, I have experienced it, and, um, but the thing about it is that I don't want you to think that, you know, you're attracted to girls like us, so we want to deal with you through the anatomy and stuff like that, we're really dealing with you mentally, if you're on that page, now, if you want to deal with us, as far as being, I want you to dress that way, I want you to dress like the pictures of the porn, you're, you're definitely a date, you need to be charged, you need to be charged for a time, you're wasting her time, you're wasting her energy on somebody who's being fake. And the thing about it is that if you're kind of guy that said, well, I want to come over here so we can cuddle in the bed, you're a date. You need to be charged. <laughs> and he said, wait, wait, yes, he's a date. Now, if you want him to come over there and bust nuts up in your house and come on in your face, and, oh my God, you know, you're giving your life because he comes out and say, listen, go for it. Because at the end of the day, many men are looking for a girl that's a cum bucket. That means he can come inside of you, eat the bucket the fuck out of there. Because at the end of the day, every man wants a dumb dumb. Every woman wants a dumb dumb. But at the end of the day, if you want to be one of them, so well, maybe I enjoy a sex like him, then go for it. All I'm saying is use protection. But like I said before, when it comes to a lot of guys who are trans attracted men and stuff, I'm just telling you my opinion. Girls want a guy who they she can enjoy the sex with you. She won't feel like she's being punched in the stomach. And I know a lot of guys who have a really big man dingo. They're single. They can't really find the body. Even females, they hurt them when they have sex with them. And they watch how they hurt them. And a lot of times, people want to have sex with them and stuff. And so girls be like, oh, I want, a, I want a big one. They really don't. They just, in their mind, what they're thinking is like average being. But they really don't know what a big man dingo. They don't, they have not seen. But I don't know. Some, some girls like horses. But I don't know many who do. I know many would talk the talk in front of their friends. But at the end of the day, you take them home and stuff. It's a totally different story. Like, oh, bitch, I don't know fuck me, let's be me. And the thing about it is they can't take it and stuff. They'll sing that song, but they can't. And with the band said, I just want to share this with you, because I know there's a lot of guys feel like, you know, I want to be with you and stuff. I don't feel like I'm sexually satisfied you, because for some reason they feel as though our whole is all stretched out. Everybody that's been in us, everybody that turned this out and stuff. And that's far from the truth. A lot of girls like myself haven't even gotten, really gotten really stretch out at all because a lot of times y'all want us to top you. You want to be the ladybugs in our life and stuff instead of us being the women in your life. You come to be the, um, you know, I mean if that's what you into, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that, but a lot of times guys that are really tough and stuff that are hardcore, y'all want to be ladybugs and stuff. You want to be tough in front of the streets, in front of your boys, but when you get behind the doors to us, you're, you're, you're like, um, 
you know, you, you're into your vellum and I guess who you are. Anyway, the band said, I just want to share this with you on a Monday as far as transgender men being insecure about your penis size. As long as it works, as long as you're treating her right, she will give you a chance. If you treat her like a whore, you need to be paid like, you need to pay her as if you're... Anyway, the band said, I want to tell you that I love you. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. That's Raven underscore over on Instagram. And we can talk from there because, you know, on YouTube I cannot sit up here and put a lot of content on here because of the laws and the copyright and stuff, so I can't do really a lot too much. So you can follow me there so you can see look, much more of what I do as far as going out, shopping, what it gets to be, even going to New York City. Anyway, the being said, I'm going to let y'all love you and I want to thank you for watching. Catch the rain. Now don't forget to follow me on Instagram. You can get a chance to see a lot of things I can't really show you on YouTube and stuff. So I'll be looking forward to seeing you and stuff. So let me know that you're there and stuff. And be safe. Love you.